I think I was starting to spoil you guys by giving you a video every day. I wasn't doing that for you, I was doing that for me because I'm selfish because I was actually enjoying doing the videos, which I still am. But doing the videos, I was opening up toys, squeezing them in, you know, going through the collection, dusting, assorting, you know, the shit that, that's fun about collecting. I don't really like do posing and pictures and all that bullshit, which is cool. I'm glad when you guys do it, it just looks like a lot of work for little reward. I'm scrolling through Instagram and look at it for about two seconds. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And it literally took you eight hours to do that picture. But keep doing it. I love seeing it. I'm just not going to fuck around with that. But when I do that and I start putting these action figures on the shelf, I was like, man, I got to start getting rid of this stuff. Lazy. It's just listing it, whatever. And then I, I started, I hooked up with these other guys. And I'm like, I'll sell some shit on Macari. I did. And it's actually been working out pretty good. I think I made a little over a thousand bucks in a week getting decent prices for stuff. Um, if you want to check, not that it's a plug for my Macari, but it's Robert Walker on Macari. You basically type in action figures. You'll see this beautiful background right here. And then just let your figures do the walking from there. I've started selling like some Marvel shit on there. I started selling like some um, Spider-Man movie shit that was actually moving pretty good. DC, I figured I'll start going through that. And while I was going through the DC, man, I was actually just having a really good time. Like say I got 12 green arrows and just taking all those out, dusting them, cleaning them, organizing them, and then actually picking the one or two of that character that I really want to keep and selling the rest. Like it's kind of refreshing. I haven't sold any green arrows yet, but it'll happen. It'll happen. But then getting down and picking the two that you like and actually putting together a pretty cool display instead of a clutter display is actually really fun. So I did that like literally all day Saturday, put like 150 action figures on Macari. And just, it was just, it was fun to kind of pick and choose. I'm not totally done with DC. Actually going through my collection is showing me like a new love for DC. And when Todd decides to get his head out of his ass and actually make like a really cool, big, oversized character, because all this other shit's a little on the whack side, like when he's doing that clay face, like, yeah, I definitely need to get that clay face. Or that man bat, yeah, I probably definitely need to get that man bat. Or that Joker dragon, that's the kind of shit where you shine, Todd, like that kind of shit. All the other shit, man. I'll do a DC video and kind of show you what DC collecting is like. If he could have did a Marvel Legends style DC figure, you couldn't keep that shit on the shelf. You go to my Target right now, you got the Eternals, you got um, American Chavez and her full case pack. That was a good decision. Really, really smart. Good choice. That'll be like $2.99 in about six months from now. And then you go over the DC section and it is packed full. Like, I don't know where they're going with this. While I was in there looking, I saw the sheath small, and they didn't give me this one for free. They did give me some, so thanks for that, but it would have been nice to get this one, too. They sent one to Toy Shiz. He actually reviewed it. If you want to see a really good review, go to his channel. Check that out. If you want to see me just talk shit about it, well, you came to the right place. We're going to check this out. The thing of it is, just by looking at it in the box, I think it looks pretty cool. The fact that he calls this a deluxe figure like the clown with the extra guns, 40 fucking dollars for this shit. I know shit's going up. I get it. I get it. I didn't elect Joe Biden either. So, you know, whatever. Don't blame me for $6 of gas because it's coming. But $40 fucking dollars for a few extra guns? Todd, man. That sucks, bro. Just put it in a smaller package. Give me one gun and charge me 20 I know you like to charge us 25 for the spawn figures, even though you don't have to pay licensing because you own it. It looks like we've got a couple, got a couple extra paint apps. I know there were some bogus ass reviews for people reviewing this where they didn't feel like pulling out the collection, like especially um, Toy Shiz. Come on, Shiz. I know you got this shit, man. Pull it out for me. We want to see shit like that. Now let's check this shit out. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through and now you're walking on. All 
right, now you can get that she spawn video that you've been looking forward to. The one that you actually deserve. Right up front, we have she spawn. These are the two different she spawns. I think they did repaints because he's Todd and he loves his repaints. So there's probably 20 different versions of each one of these. I'm not real sure. I just got one of each. I thought that was totally good enough. This one's cool if you like a statue. I know you guys hate statues. That's why everybody's starting to kind of come up on the new stuff. But she did look really cool. The weapon just looks just like real similar to this one, which I think that's cool when they kind of do throwbacks or stuff like that. But here she is, like five points of articulation, and she's pre-posed, so just go ahead and call her a statue. But she is a really sexy looking statue. Then you have this one. This is the first one. When this one came out, I thought this thing was amazing. It has this big giant bone skeleton thing on her back, which is completely pointless and no way in the world she's going to stand without some kind of a stand. The armor clips off pretty cool looking action figure i'm sitting here looking at this and i'm like trying to downsize and go okay i can only have i'm because i am trying to limit my collection to like one of each character i i, I just can't on this one because i definitely still need both of these in my collection because the new she spawn is jessica priest i don't know how the hell toisha saw that no knew that because it's not on the box Maybe he's reading the new comic books. But that one's Jessica Priest. So I went ahead and pulled out the Jessica Priest. This is the one from the movie, which I'm probably going to get rid of all the Spawn movie figures. They're just not very desirable. Um, if you guys want to come up on that, let me know. The coolest thing about her is that she comes with a squirt gun. You see this thing? You can put water in it, then you push it on the bottom. It's like rubber. Right, you just squeeze it. And then she squirts water out of her gun. Yeah, that's... Back in the day, I know you guys hate it, but back in the day, action figures had actions. That's why they were called action figures. It wasn't because they had articulation. They also had that too. They just had five points of it. Then you had this Jessica Priest figure. This is... I mean, yes, it's five points of articulation. You guys are going to call it the statue. I'm going to say that it's got five points of articulation and call it an action figure. This thing... Truly amazing. This is the Todd that we love. Like, remember when we get shit like this? Look at all, like, the war paint blood on her. She has the red hair, just like the one behind it that we're going to look at it here in a second. And she was in a two-pack with her little pet right here. This, look at this thing. This is back when action figures were cool. I don't, when you make something like this, I don't care how much articulation was on it. Yeah, it's like four or five points of articulation. But look at that. This is like her accessory, like her pet. Like you can like put the chain around her. Like like she like can like take this thing for like walks. Like you put that on her wrist. Oh my God. It's just, look at that. It's just truly, truly an amazing action figure. And back here in the back, I went ahead and pulled out the clown. Because he was also a deluxe figure in Series 1. This was a $40 figure. This one didn't sting as bad because he had these big stupid guns with these big stupid arms. Which I like how he did the guns on the old clown way better than he did this one. I don't know where his head's at sometimes. Because the clown is cool. The guns are the cool. But man, he definitely he definitely fucked that up. Like, I, I don't get it. Take the guns. Throw those fucking things away. Give me the clown with just a small accessory. Charge me your 20, 25 bucks. I know it's 25 now because you own the licensing. So I get it. This deluxe bullshit, it sucks. Like, I'm just not, I'm just not on board with it. Then for a size comparison, you'll do it right next to, um, you got Spawn. This is, a. Uh, the fan the fan channel one the one where you had to like pre-order it to like pump it up before you could make like a million bucks on one action figure one of the accessories you get all these accessories you get all these tons these big giant ridiculous guns which is cool that's definitely spawn but just give me one gun instead of all this bullshit and charge me 20 bucks instead of 25 bucks i don't understand that the guns are cool but i don't get it if you're gonna throw in all these weird accessories throw in like this throw in like a little necro plaza blast like that thing is cool throw in some real chains like this where they don't have the plastic chains on it like you're gonna call it deluxe and then you're gonna put a plastic chain around her waist this is deluxe this is what we call deluxe you got a plastic chain around the neck 
You got these rubber gooey chains that connected that skull. I hate these plastic chains. They just look like shit. The action figure itself looks amazing. I think he killed it. He did an amazing job. If he could just get rid of these big clunky pins. I said it all the time with um, Hasbro. I know Hasbro doesn't give a fuck about me. But they're not putting pins on their action figures anymore. At least they're going in a direction to where they're trying to stop it. Which I definitely appreciate that. Hopefully I'll scream about it enough and Todd will get the wind of it. Not from me. He'll just get tired of people bitching about it. Because these pens are fucking ridiculous. Like, this thing is insane. She comes with these little heel shoes, which the, the, she does come with a stand. She will not. Come on. You know this bitch ain't standing without a stand. Like, come on. Look at those little heels. You know those things are going to get soft, fold over, and they give you toe articulation. I don't know why he's even fucking with that. It's cool. Thanks for trying to show off, Todd. But there's other areas where you could show off. Like, if you want to show off... Get rid of the toe articulation and actually paint the spikes on the back of her collar like she is on the back of the box. I already threw the box in the trash. It's too far away, and I'm not going to break it up for some stupid shit like that. But here's the face sculpt. God, that looks amazing. The paint on that thing, amazing. They painted the skull. They painted the little uh, bullets around her shoulders. They painted the majority of the spikes. And this is how you put an ass on an action figure. She's got like the rubber diaper thing. This is where the rubber diaper thing works. That is amazing. It's nice, clean lines, fits nice and snug. Love that. I love the articulation coming out of the thighs with that. I love how it has a crinkle like right here next to her crotch. One more crinkle and we would have had a camel toe. Oh, come on, Todd. Give it to us. You know we're pervs. We collect action figures. So there's obviously something wrong with this. Give us that one extra crease in the front and we'll call it good. You got a little crease up there. You got some nice little titties on her. The skull looks good. Painted all the spikes. Love the little skull here. It could have used a little bit more paint on that. Paint the eyes on the skull. Would have definitely been cool. She's a good looking action figure. I mean, I spent like 40 dollars plus tax on this let's see if i remember to ring it up or not i i can't remember but either way it's like 40 dollars plus tax so it's like 43 bucks by the time you get this thing on your nerdy toy shelf the paint looks good it's definitely better than the series well i don't know the clown looks pretty good the redeemer he's hit and miss man i like this one todd I don't know what to say, man. Your, your spawn line's all over the place. This, this, this is perfection. This is what we're looking for right here. Well, not this stupid head articulation. That, God damn it. What were you thinking, Todd? Todd, get some people on your team that talk to you or something. I know the Hasbro Marvel Legend team's a bunch of fucking douchebags. Like, I get it. I get it. You don't want to be like those guys. But you got to have some kind of a consultant team to, like, help you work through it. Maybe watch a couple of these videos from the fans. Apparently, us influencers give you... I'm not buying into that bullshit. Either way, here's a spawn figure. Let's go, Brandon.